Hello, this is Sartre with LSNTAP here today, and we've got a demo of the Justice Hub Tools website, which is a pitch portal for legal services organizations or other people in the community to show off awesome new projects that they're doing. We've got Christy Leos here today to give you an overview of how the site works, what the intention for it is, and how to get started. Hello, and welcome to the justicehub.tools demo. For this video, we'll be showcasing a social network and hub aimed to aid in the identification, prevention, mitigation, and solving of justice issues that affect our communities. If you're interested in building access to justice technology, working with legal aid advocates, or simply want to help your community, join us on justicehub.tools. So let's get started. When you land on the page, uh, if you look at the upper right hand corner, uh, you will see the sign up section. So just click on that and it will take you to a very simple form. Um, so as you can see, I already have my Rice alumni account. I'm going to come up with a fake password. Okay. Um, and I do not have a project in mind right now because I'm new to the site. Um, and I do want to subscribe to the newsletter. So create new account. Um, and as you can see, uh, check your email for to confirm your subscription and a welcome message with further instructions will be sent to your email address. Yes, I would click it, it would subscribe me to the list. And then I received an email from Justice Hub. Okay, if I click on this, I'll be able to verify. I've just used my one-time login and I am now active and authenticated. Now that I'm here, uh, I can complete my user profile okay. and I click the edit button in the upper right hand corner. Okay. And so I'm just going to fill out the rest of this. Um, and since I already have an account on here, I'm going to come up with a fake name. I can upload a profile image, uh, list my organization, a website, a phone number, list a few details about myself, give a location. So uh, since justicehub.tools is a community of makers, researchers, and advocates, it is important to indicate your unique skill set, interests, and the role that you would like to take on a team. Uh, this will be visible to others in the community and make it easier to gather groups around project ideas. I will be a beta user as a role. Uh, for my skills, I am very good at community management and uh, my interests are specifically immigration. So now I have my profile, uh, which would look a bit more nifty if I'd added an image. Um, and on this profile, I can pull up the current projects that I'm working on. Topics, events, and a stream takes into account all of my recent work and activity. That is the user profile. Um, and the user profile is important because if I go to the home page, uh, but the user profile specifically is important uh, because it is a way to connect with other community members and a way to connect to other projects. If I were to click on community, uh, it would show that I'm the most recent member and then it would also show other members. If I were to click on them, I could see more of their information. Um, and if I go to a specific project, I can see, I can filter by the interests. And so that is how, that's how the interests play uh, from the user profile into the project that you would like to work on. As we mentioned before, justicehub.tools is here to help bring together people to create solutions. Uh, before you create a new project, event, or topic, explore the platform by using search, check out all projects, or browse the community database, which you can find here. You can filter users by skills and interests, projects by interests, types, or city, and update your profile and add projects with our new forms up here. JusticeHub.tools even posts a weekly featured pitch on the most innovative projects to date. Moving on to projects. Projects are where groups of people can gather together to work on a solution. The purpose of creating a new project is to mark a solution that you or your team is actively working on. Be descriptive in explaining your project so the community can determine where they may be able to assist. The project profile can be public or private, tagged by shared skill and subject matter interests, document tasks and needed roles, list development processes and collaboration tool links, and let other members know 
you are looking for collaborators. So I'm going to show you that right now. And so this is an example of a project uh, which um, shows the in shared interests, skills, the project work, the process, and project management links. So if I wanted to create a new project though, go here. And so I will say public project, continue. And uh, so it has now taken me to the project form. So uh, as I mentioned before, uh, being specific is very important. And so we'll list a topic or a title, a goal, a description, uh, mark shared interest. So it connects back to other users who might be interested in your project, um, shared skills, a location, uh, what needs to be done? You know, what are the next steps in your project? Uh, what kind of roles are you looking for? Um, you know, do you use a GitHub, a Trello, a Slack? And uh, most importantly, are you are you in need of assistance, or do you simply want people to know about your project? So, uh, marking these in the taxonomy is important. Um, and so, you can create a public project, and it shows up on the homepage and in all projects. Um, so moving on to creating topics. Uh, so it's very similar to creating a project. Um, a form will appear. Topics are, way, are a way of jotting down an idea or brainstorming session. These topics can be a way to spark discussion, formulate a new idea, or you even be the beginning of a new project. Topics can be seen by only the community or made public for non-logged in users. Um, so here you can see a you know very basic uh, form of how visible you want it to be uh, a, a text box um, and then a just an easy to use uh, content management system um, and then finally we can create new events uh, you can share events connected to your project for your non-virtual and virtual collaborations events can be seen by only the community or made public for non-logged in users um, and you also have the ability to track enrollments. And so you have different types. Uh, you had a description, location, dates, um, and visibility. And then, of course, you can attach it to a specific project. Beyond that, uh, I would like to mention that justicehub.tools can only succeed with the support of builders and movers like you. Uh, read the platform's community standards. You can provide uh, feedback or check out tips and tricks for additional resources such as hackathon how-tos, problem sets, and much more. We look forward to collaborating with you and thank you for watching. Thanks, this has been Sart with LSN Tap. If there are other projects that you would like to see highlighted on our YouTube channel, please drop me an email, it's here on the slide. I'm always looking for content, best practices for us to share with the community widely. I want to say thank you to Northwest Justice Project, LSC, Internet Bar Foundation, and all the other partners that made this project possible. I hope to see you over there on the site. Take care.